I'm ready to play Frog Detective. Two, the case of the invisible wizard, are you? I was gifted one, two, and three, and this is the second installment of the three. I hope you had a good week. I hope you're gonna have an even better weekend. Anyway, uh, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to just start, get into it, start the voices. Oh, here we go. That fun audio's back. This is Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. I am tickled to be here, back with Detective Kermy. Okay, let's play. I'm ready. Let's see what adventures Mr. Froggy has for us this time. Look at us dancing. Oh, this was such a good time. Memories. Look at they have the frog hand now. This was this wasn't there before, right? Frog detective crime solving agency. Frog detective speaking. Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't give any visitors around there. A couple of days ago, new resident moved in. Shy kind of gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. The uh, the residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organized a welcoming parade. Someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade. Decorations were destroyed. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me, I'm the detective. <laughs> Monica, you don't have to do the voices. Your voice is super delicate. Um, I'm doing the voices. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. But it's too easy. Also, I don't have feet, I have flippers. Great, hop to it. Real sensitive, Bill, I forgot to mention. The only resident of the wood is special. Invisible. She's invisible? How am I supposed to see her? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they'll really be excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. Oh, my trusty, <laughs> trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. <laughs> Maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> oh, I forgot this voice. He became a cop? Ah. Oh, it's Larry! Oh, don't wink at me. Let's see. Lobster cop. Hey, hey. Oh, it's the famous fraud detective. Famous? I'm not famous. Haha. <laughs> Perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. I thought, I mean, I thought that was a Nope, oh, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it, Larry. You, I even said, this is my office. And you say, sure it is, cleaning little frog. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Tip number one, you pay attention. Tip number two, everyone is suspect a suspect. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Well, I'm not really big on books. They are without exception factually inaccurate. <laughs> a book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you're writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook though. We'll go to Walgreens then. It's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it like you like. He's in a hot tub with aliens? Movie? That seems like a porno. Oh my god, look at this one guy in the back like, um, hell no. That's my Larry. Are those my parents? Are those- Is he having sushi with my parents? Ha 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 ha. Look at all the trophies he has. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. Can I have this? Thanks. Which stickers should I pick and where should they go? Oh my god, we get to decorate? Oh stop, this is adorable! Okay, I, I need, we need one of these in here. Um, may, I don't know what this is, like a fingernail? I don't know. Alright, we need this and we'll put it in this. <laughs> maybe trog door over here. Um, maybe I'll put this right here. Perf. Act. Maybe a bird sitting on the crocodile, because that's adorable. Be some luscious, juicy lips. Um, and then obviously we gotta give this little buddy a hat. This is my favorite creation right here. Beautiful cactus. Next cosplay. Um, I, they gave me customizations, and they don't know what they did. I'm too addicted to customizations. Maybe he can have a little hat too. He says he can't wear his hats, but I think they look great on him. Like maybe some lipstick. <laughs> there we go. Oh my God, she is my favorite. We need to name her. I love this. The fact that they gave you so many customizations, like this is life for me. I'm gonna put a little fishy here. Oh, this is adorable. Look at it. 
Look at my cute ass book. I love it so much. Can I have them print this in real life and then send this to me? That would be great. Tells your book decorating coming along. It's right there on the desk, you know. I know. I'm just taking my time, that's all. Well, I haven't gotten all day. Just kidding. I do have all day. Take as long as you need. All right, well, I finished, so I'm gonna just go. Thanks for giving me the notebook. Don't put any more trash in my room. Thanks. Is that a, like a chicken in my lantern? It kind of looks like one. Is this my car? Super Hot presents a game by Worm Club. Look at him go with assistance from Vic Scream. Ah, his face, it's too perfect. I am excited to see what adventures we've got this time. Warlock Woods. Oh, stop, it's the pose. It's the Jeff Goldblum pose. It's the case of the invisible wizard. The serotonin I needed today. This is so much more vibrant and colorful. I've got to think of the, the different like voices for these guys. Okay, Ralph. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. It's true. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. I feel about the wizard moving in. It's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. I've been my eyeing off that house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I re I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm, I'll see if I can track some town for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Ralph. Oh, look at those dude little hands. Motive? In true pirate fashion, wants to cause a ruckus, needs building supplies. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Loves pirates. Eye patches, cosmetic only. A private boy. <laughs> wants to renovate. Thinks I'm too small. I am not. Oh my god. I love this. This is even better than the first one. Um. Ew. A pie. I got a pie, y'all. Looks like a worm pie. There's more places. Oh, sh. What the? God, I did not see you there. Wanna hop in? I'm Victor, who are you? Are you here to question me and stuff? Cause like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? I'm talking to myself. I'm doing this for myself. I'm visiting my friend Duke. I mean, Dookie? <laughs> Naughty. Oh. She's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I hear there are gonna be delicious pies for the parati, so the timing was perfect. This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Mood. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. You got one money. I have a name for our beloved on our notebook. Oh my god. Ava Glint Needle. I... Love it. Ava Glint Needle is everything that I hope to be when I grow up. Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it in the room. Sorry, Detective. You may have to speed up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. Though I am visiting from out of town, I know that this is one of Mandy's pies. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. Oh god, that's not a good photo of Victor. Hadn't eaten, could have been jealous of the parade. Needs, needs something to eat. Notes. Such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger. Maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. Let's get my voice up. Oh, there was another dude there. Like Humpty Dumpty. What are they doing there? Hello, is anyone home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. What are they doing? Are they doing the nasty in there? There's another pie. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. You got a pie. I guess we can talk to Sandy was her name. Or Mandy, I think. I have you. I've collected your. Well, let me look for more pies, I guess, before I do that. There's another pie. I just want to make sure I have them all before I go talk to Maddie because I'm pretty sure she's going to be like, they're lost. I need them. Blah, blah. Hello. 
Pussy meow meow. Ooh, there's another pie right there. All right, so I found four pies now. I wonder, I bet you it's gonna be five. It's always five. It's never an, un, it's never an even number. It's always odd, but I could be wrong. You are the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. I should never have learned that tiny enough spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess. First, I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? And you know damn well what happened to the pies. Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on Wizboy. Wizboy.net. Bidding on some new shoes. The ones I was bidding on would go super well in the blue dresses I had. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is that their screen name is someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. I guess we'll ask her about the pie. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously! I seriously need help! Straight up, I can't see anything right now. I have found some of your pies! Wonderful! Now there's only one left to find! I knew it, it's always five. Motive upset about not winning on the shoes, perhaps? Took it out on the parade. Help her find five pies. Notes. Last night was on Whiz Bay bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Schooled me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. Um, okay. I guess let's talk to you. Maybe like French. She looks kind of French. Hmm. Who are you? <laughs> oh, I thought the lobster cup was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about lobster cup? No. Can this frog raise my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? <laughs> Like this. Wah! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has temper. <laughs> okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for a lobster cup. How do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh, oh heck, well, how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here. But that house has been- what house? Which- this one? The big one? And I did not know she was coming. No one told me, you see? Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, she kinda came at weird time of night and I- well, I thought she was ghost. Oh! Yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up. With a vacuum. I put it on highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. <laughs> I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. There, I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If only I had a, a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. French? Motive. Tried to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. <laughs> Needs a rug. Thinks I can read minds. I can't. The mayor hired a cool band to play at the parade. Attack the wizard. <laughs> oh, there's the pie. Ha ha. Not lost pie. Sweet. I found all your pies. Wow, all of that thanks, detective. I promised here's one money. You got one money. I don't think you promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh. I'll give you a fresh pie, too. They're delicious. I guess we can take this one to this little guy. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is stupid and outdated. Victor, I am not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground. Nope, Mandy gave me a fresh one. Oh my gosh, that was amazing! And I feel so much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Oh my god. I should give you something in return for this pie. I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you can wear it. Alas, my head is simply too weird of a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. Am I coming, Andy? <laughs> You sing very loudly. Yep. 
I'm why everyone should soundproof their houses. So like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Manny was in a bad mood the night the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Navi like attacked the wizard one time. And that's all. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Yeah, a detective. Have you heard of extortion? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh, why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket to get the fuck out of here. I want to go to Froggy World and become a star. What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? All we can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Motive. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her? <laughs> Needs five money. Sings really loud all the time. Everybody soundproof their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorted. I have never been extorted before. What a thrill. <laughs> Aw. Um, all right. I guess I need to talk to you. I'm just going to give you a super monotone voice. Just to rest my dear poor throat. A customer. Welcome to Carlos. All you could need shop. Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. What about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime? Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has a party hat to wear. Mine was ruined at the parade last night. I've been too busy working in my shop to find a new one. Oh no! How embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order on online? It'd be tight! You're right. Ugh, what should I do? Don't stress, I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Would you like to know? I guess give him the hat, yeah. But Unless I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Yes way! That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Aw, thanks. You made a fan out of me. Here, let me repay you for your work. Oh no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. You got one money. Thanks. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what to use it is, but I figure you're good at solving these types of puzzles. You got a rug. Motive. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. Pa needs party hat. Ba busy boy. Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. Oh, no, I don't have a hat either. I can probably borrow one. It's fine. Am I invited to the parade? I hope so. Great news. What is it? I have- I have found your rug! This is great news! Thanks for chucking it down! This- this should do the trick! Wow, it looks just like new! Hopefully the band won't notice the mess! I don't think they will. They're a fish tank anyway. Wait, do you mean to tell me- You got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep, they're on the way! Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away! I can't wait! I'm excited too, I can't wait for the parade to begin! I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts! Before you go, I should give you something in return. I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage, is that enough? Um, sure, thank you! You got building supplies. Plus one money! Well, that's okay. It was a simple favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Last one that I have to talk to. I've talked to everybody else. The kitty kitty. The poos. Well, oh my stars, it's you. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. I put up I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it if I'm honest. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang a sign back up with it. Okay. I'll do my best. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to the Warlock Woods. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign destroyed the parade out of her embarrassment. Needs something to fix her sign. Notes. Insists she's not suspicious. This makes her more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van in the interest last night. Okay. Another small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. 
Oh, great. I'd love to use them if you're okay with handing them over. Excellent, thank you so much. Of course, I must repay you for this. Please take a money. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow, really? Me, a pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must you award you a special prize. You got a hook. Wow, what do I do with this? You can use it on your head or you want, or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet, daddy. <laughs> oh. Sorry, you don't really know why I said that. I found you a hook. Oh my stars, thank you. I can fix my sign right away. I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay, I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding, our society is real progressive and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. It's open. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective, how's the extortion going? I think I got your five money. Well, for real, I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. Do you have the information for me? Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude, but I don't think he'd mind if you call him up. I have his phone number. You got a phone number. Hmm, who should I call? Mysterious number. I don't have any friends to call. Oh no, that's so sad. Hi, it's Barney. I have you on speaker. I'm calling you about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything if that's what you're asking. Just delivering a parcel. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh yeah, I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from whizbay.net headquarters. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two? A pair of shoes? But I remember something dropped over the entrance of the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they stumbled off before I noticed. <laughs> oh, he has a thing! Detective. I don't think I did it, but maybe I have a rare curse where I commit crimes in my sleep. Lindsay, this is you. Needs a holiday. Haha, <laughs> just joking. Notes, I have a jumper, I have pants, I have a magnifying glass, I have a good attitude. Lobster cop motive, maybe lobster cop made up the crime to give me a challenge. That's really nice of him, also very unlikely. Needs to figure out where to put my cleaning supplies, not my office. Notes, number one best detective, has lots of fans, it's super cool, so many trophies. I hope I get a trophy one day, aww. Glasses. This must be the thing that Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. I have a name engraved on them, the invisible wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try to return these to the wizard. She should be in the old house near Carlos's shop. I found these glasses. Um, hello, there's Doritos all over the floor. Hello. Poof. Pay attention to me, I have your glasses. Oh, oh my God, you have a lot of the pies. Oh my God, no, he's obsessed with me. Oh God. Look at him! Ah, who's there? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are, so solve that as soon as possible, please. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, oh, I can see again. I mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. Were you? Where were you last night? I was on Whizbay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. I think someone else that must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Who? Uh, the guy. Are you making this up? No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy? <laughs> yes. Lola, are you being dishonest? I'm really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the parade? Ah, I didn't know the parade was for me. It was so nice. And I ruined it. When I dropped my glass, I couldn't find my way almost bumping into everything. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I was just so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in. I already made a big mistake. I'm very shy lady detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. It's a frog. Ta-da. You're a frog like me. Detective, are you going to tell everyone? Um, I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell anyone what I did, they'll be upset. I think they'd forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that it was evil guy? Thank you so much. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. 
Ralph, you didn't do it. Victor, how many times do we have to tell you? Just don't trust that guy. Rude. I didn't do it. Well, I guess I can find out in a moment. All right, we're going to lie. Evil guy did it. Well, he solved the mystery. Who was it? It was evil guy. Who? He snuck in last night and destroyed everything because he hates Lola. Yeah. Unfortunately, because he's made a slime, he got away before I could apprehend him. Yes, so unfortunate. However, Lola has since cast a very special spell that would make sure he never returns. Wow, evil guy sucks. Yeah, I'm so sorry he did that to you, Lola. Well, case solved. Well done, detective. Let's party. Oh my god, what is happening with the crab? I love it. Look at them go. Yes, another case solved. Oh my god, he's wearing a hat. He ended up doing it. He was like, screw the society norms. <laughs> Good job, everybody. I love the dance that they do. I need to dance like that. A little bit later. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Great job on solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I can't live like this. Supervisor, Evil Guy isn't real. I'm sorry to say so, but I lied on the report. What? I'll explain it in detail another time, but the real culprit was the wizard. She wanted to avoid the embarrassment, so you asked me to pin it on a fictional character named Evil Guy. I did as she said just to be kind. I'm not sure I made the right decision. So I can keep my position here? Well, you're self-employed, so yes. But you should remember to tell the truth whenever it's safe and possible. I promise. I just got a call about a doozy of a case detective. That sounds exciting. Where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I've left a ticket for you there. After the detective has left. Oh no. My paper is coming to life. It's Lobster Cop. Is he bad? Is he a bad boy? Is Lobster Cop a bad boy? <gasps> Don't fuck with my journal. I took a long time designing it. <gasps> my journal! Ava Gr Gritneedle. What do we name her? Who's Filthy Paws? Next time on Frog Detective, we're going to the Grand Canyon. <gasps> Ava, it's you! The detective will return in... Cowboy Con County? Corruption at Cowboy County with Ava Glintneedle. <laughs> I'm so excited. Next week is going to be great. Don't miss it. It's the last installment of the Frog Detective series.